Hello friends, welcome to Technique. This is Nirmal here and in this video we are going to do an FAQ on the new Honor View 10. So the Honor View 10 is a really power packed device in terms of specifications. It is uh, uh, coming with a full HD uh, plus resolution display. It's powered by the Kirin 970 Octa-Core chipset, 6 gigs of RAM and 128 gigs of storage and it has a 3750 mAh battery. So in this video we will talk about uh, some of the questions we are getting on this device. So this is an FAQ video. We will try to cover all the aspects in case we have missed out on anything. You can uh, drop a comment and we will be glad to help you out with your questions. So without any further delay, let's get started. So first up, let's have a look at the sensors available on this device. So we have uh, uh, the sensors app installed on this device and you can see uh, it comes with all the sensors, accelerometer, light sensor, orientation sensor, proximity, gyroscope. Uh, then uh, we also have the magnetic sensor. So there isn't anything missing out on this device and you also get a fingerprint scanner and there is also NFC included on this device. So now the next step, let's have a look at the display. So the phone comes uh, with a 6 inches, that's 5.99 inches full HD plus resolution display, that's uh, 2160 by 1080p resolution display and the display quality is really good. You can see it's vibrant, colorful and the viewing angles are also really good and the touch response also is uh, smooth. It is a 2.5D glass but uh, there is no mention of uh, Gorilla Glass protection on this display, we are not really sure about that. You can also see that uh, Honor has provided a screen guard on top of the display so we are not sure about whether there is any Gorilla Glass protection offered on this display. So we are, uh, we are uh, uh, asked uh, Honor for uh, a confirmation on the same. We will update once we have uh, a confirmation on that. So that's the display aspect. Now let's talk about uh, the SIM card. So this device comes with the dual SIM cards and uh, 4G LTE and Volte. It's a dual 4G and dual Volte supported uh, uh, device and uh, you also get an SD card expansion slot but it's a hybrid uh, uh, slot uh, we have the slot here it's a hybrid slot but it does come with 128 gigs of storage so uh, the chances of uh, using a micro sd card is very minimal because you get enough storage and uh, you can expand but uh, you have to compromise on one sim card and this is a uh, dual 4g lte and dual volte supported uh, sim card now next up let's talk about uh, the storage so this device comes uh, with a uh, uh, 128 gigabyte storage so we'll just show you the storage option so let's go to the settings and uh, uh, see the storage option so there you go you can see 128 gigabyte storage we have installed a couple of games and apps so that's the reason it is showing only 18108 uh, uh, gigabyte available so it does come with 128 gigs of storage next up let's talk about the fingerprint scanner so honor devices have had a fingerprint scanner on the rear panel but unlike other devices we have the fingerprint scanner located on the front panel and uh, it does a really good job in unlocking the device you can see it's really fast just tap and uh, it unlocks in a uh, fraction of a second so similar to any honor devices the fingerprint scanner is really fast in unlocking the device now next step the software so we have emui uh, 8.0 on this device so if you go to the about phone you can see emui 8.0 so uh, it, there are some uh, minor changes to the ui in the emui 8.0 we have android oreo out of the box so only few devices have oreo out of the box right now and uh, on our view uh, 10 is one of those devices so there are some uh, minor changes here and there other than that emui 8.0 looks really good it's a polished ui terrific performance all around now next step let's talk about the processor that's one of the important aspects it's powered by the kirin 970 octa-core chipset it's a high silicon kirin chipset it's an in-house chipset from huawei and uh, this is uh, the first uh, ai enabled uh, chipset uh, in the world that's what uh, huawei claims so that has some advantages that uh, this uh, device uh, has AI capabilities uh, in the camera and a uh, lot of uh, other aspects as well. So that's uh, the important aspect with the chipset. Now the battery capacity is 3750 mAh capacity. It's slightly lower than the Honor 8 Pro, but you get a really great uh, fast charging. This is a quick charging which can charge the device in uh, almost 80 minutes. That's uh, 1 hour and 20 minutes. That's a really impressive performance uh, in the charging time. Now speaker performance, so this device has a speaker located at the bottom panel, so speakers does a decent job altogether. It's not the loudest out there but uh, it's quite good uh, for this uh, device and does a job uh, pretty well. So that's the speakers located at the bottom panel. Now talking about the LED notification as this device does come with uh, an LED notification, we'll just uh, uh, quickly show you, you can just see when you connect the, the uh, charger, you can see the LED notification available here on the top left corner, you can see the LED notification. So 
this device does come with LED notification. Now next step, let's have a look at the OTG support. So uh, we have a pen drive connected. So we have a USB-C type cable. So this device has a USB-C type port. So we are connected a pen drive to this and uh, you can see in the notification center, uh, we have uh, the USB drive is detected. So that means USB OTG is supported out of the box. Uh, you can ac access uh, your pen drive computer peripherals uh, from this uh, device uh, via USB Type-C uh, OTG cable. So this is the USB Type-C OTG cable. Now as I said before the device comes uh, with NFC out of the box. You can see there is an NFC option available. So uh, if you want to use contactless payment or other options, there is NFC support on this device. Now talking about the camera, so we have a dual camera system on this device. We have a 20 and 16 megapixel uh, rear camera. Uh, the 20 megapixel is uh, for monochrome sensor and uh, the 16 megapixel sensor is an RGB sensor. Together it produces some really uh, good images. So we will also be uploading a detailed camera review of this device. So stay tuned for that. In that uh, we will discuss in depth about the camera. Uh, so this has f-stop 1.8 aperture so that's a pretty good and we also have an LED flash and on the front panel we have a uh, 13 megapixel camera again uh, uh, pretty good uh, for selfie so so that's the camera interface it's a typical uh, Huawei interface you can see a lot of additional modes and features are included so here are some sample shots are taken with this device so we'll be uh, posting the detailed camera review later so stay tuned for that and uh, have a look at that video when uh, we upload because uh, we will be providing in-depth analysis of the camera so finally the pricing and the buying options so at the time of making this video uh, we are not really sure about the pricing the pricing will be announced only on jan 5th so, so this video was made slightly before that so we are not really sure about the pricing but it should be competitive pricing and it should compete with the oneplus 5t in india and the availability is in amazon so if you want to buy this device you can register now at amazon so we have the link in the description of this video you can go ahead and register uh, for buying the device so the two colors available are one is the the, the navy blue color which we have right now and there is also black variant which we have seen on the on a, a 9i so that's the black variant and uh, this is the navy blue variant so the navy blue variant definitely looks uh, pretty good when compared to the black but again it's a personal choice on which color you like so both the colors will be available on amazon so that was an FAQ on the Honor View 10. I hope we have answered all your questions. If you still uh, uh, feel you have any doubts on this device, you can uh, drop a comment uh, in this video and we'll be glad to help you out. So that's it for this video. This is Normal signing off. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.